Well, here's the project I'm doing today at father-in-law's house. He's wanting to add a lean-to onto this building. I think we're gonna go nine foot out away from the building and we're gonna uh, drill some holes or auger some holes today. Pretty much where these stakes are sitting and set some posts and set them in concrete. And then he's got a little tractor. He's gonna spread out this gravel here and uh, We'll go ahead and get the post plumbed up and concreted in and I might even help him set the top um, header board there and then he's gonna handle the rafters and roofing himself so I brought the tractor today and I've got the post hole digger on it so we'll get unloaded here and show you guys how we get some holes put in the ground kind of different not working with a skid steer or excavator um, this is kind of what I started my Davis County tractor and hauling with it was this tractor right here so it's done quite a bit of work for me and I don't know, I've probably put six or seven hundred hours on it it's been a good tractor small but it always got the job done I've got a backhoe for it too so I did a lot of French drains and a lot of projects just with the, the bucket and the backhoe on this thing before I got my skid steer and mini excavator um, we'll get started.
posts are set, plumbed, and braced. So now we just need to put some concrete in the holes here. And then we're gonna put the header board up across the top as well. And then cut the tops off the post. That should be it for today. So one quick thing we did with the laser while I had it out is I went and I marked all these posts with the laser at a certain height. But that height is the same as that height and so on all the way across. That way when it comes time to cut the tops off these posts, we can just measure up, you know, we know we need four feet above that line or, you know, whatever the dimension is. And then we can cut all these posts off level at the top without having to, uh, you know, try to run a string across the top or anything like that. That's kind of more of a pain. So a few of the holes we had to do a little bit of hand digging with because we were drilling them on a slope here. So the auger kept wanting to run. So that was kind of fun. But uh, like I said, they're all in now and get the concrete set and then go up and get that header board installed and we'll have a half a building here. what we got done in a few hours today all the posts set concrete in header board up tacked on like it needs so again this was a little tough because this is on such a hill here it doesn't look too bad in the video but you know it was pretty steep trying to keep the tractor and the auger plumb while I was drilling these holes but uh yeah all the header boards turned out good we did double two by sixes across the top and uh, basically he's just gonna screw or lag weld a header across the top of the building there and tie into the old header of the building, which is right pretty much underneath or behind the gutters there. And then on that, we'll do a joist hanger or rafter hanger, whatever you wanna say, and come off that and land the rafter on top of these. Maybe do a little bird's mouth so they land on there flat, tack those in with a little steel plate and throw some purlins on it and sheeting i think he was going to use two by sixes here and put those at four foot spacing and then the purlins would go two by four purlins spaced up on the top of the rafter at two foot spacing and then the sheeting could lay on top of that 
So that's what one of my buildings had and it's held up fine. So ought to hold up fine here too. For the concrete, we just augered those holes and then set the post and then poured in some of those bags at instant set and watered them as we placed the concrete in there. And I think also along this low side here, we're gonna put some six by sixes or two by sixes or railroad ties somewhere along here, mount them to the post and then scratch this gravel over and we'll have a little retaining wall here almost. That'll do it.